This video is about Seagull outboard motors. Apologies if it goes on a little bit, but I've got a little bit to say. You either, as I've said in the past, love them or you hate them. They're a bit like Marmite. Well, I love them, as you probably know. They're a simple, basic, uh, simple engineering, uh, sort of engineering that's been going for many years and proved the test of time. Um, there's very little that can go wrong with them. They're a low compression, relatively low revving uh, engine. Uh, this is a silver sentry, it's about four and a half, five horsepower. But horsepower is a bit, uh, it's a sore point, it's actually thrust of the propeller. But it's, it's rated about that in general speak. And this engine will push a smack 30, 40, 50 foot boat. Not very fast, but it'll push it along because they are hard working uh, volume of water movers. The, where is it? I haven't got one handy. Sorry about that. The propellers are very large and they move a large quantity of, of water at relatively low velocity. Whereas Modern design outboards use a, a much smaller propeller, greater pitch, far more thrust, but lesser volume. So these are, in other words, which is a long way of saying, these are designed for displacement craft, a craft that goes through the water and not over it. So they never rev high, they never go fast, and they are what they are. Right, that's enough of uh, the speech on that respect. Um, as I said, I absolutely love them. This one is, it's a spare. And I do hope, I do, do hope, you don't do as I, as I have done. This is a one-off experiment only, and I can afford to destroy this one. This is part of an experiment. But I would hate to think that uh, anyone would copy my example, because it's just too risky. Because these are low stressed um, and there isn't a, a, a ball race, there isn't a needle valve, there isn't anything like that in the whole design. Everything is, is bronze bushes. There's the, that's the big end bush, a bronze bush, half bronze bush. There's a crank, the small end is a bronze bush, the big end is a bronze there you go, is a bronze bush. Okay, so the whole thing is lightly stressed, but I have never seen one of these snap. I have never seen uh, the web or the, the crank break. I've seen the bearings wear, and this is usually due to lack of oil and long use and so forth. Never heard them break up. So I'm just wondering whether it would be possible to uh, just stress these a little bit further. I'd always love, or would have loved, seagulls to have made just that little bit bigger one. Just for when tide and tide and everything is all against you. If they'd have produced a six, seven or eight horsepower, that would cover every eventuality and would be superb. But they didn't, and uh, probably in, in uh, order to do that, they would have to radically change the two-stroke design with totally different um, bearing surfaces and load and, and all the rest of it, so they haven't. So what's this uh, long shot waffle all on about? Well, I'm going to suit this one up. It is something I do not recommend. Um, I would hate for my video to sort of um, encourage anyone because there's enough of these things destroyed as it is. But this is just a once-off, guys, a once-off.
I've reassembled the head and I'm just looking at this flywheel here there's some nasty indentations on the edges of this flywheel here look I don't know if I can zoom in where's the zoom gone will it focus come on focus well, it's trying anyway go back a bit perhaps it will as good as it's going to be anyway that sort of thing really really annoys me I mean there's more of the and again there they've obviously used a screwdriver to try and prise the the flywheel off of the taper and it's if done properly it's so so simple do you know there's more of these I mean these were made in their millions but there must be more in scrap yards and in landfill due to human intervention than any other possible cause it's so annoying if they'd simply got a a workshop manual and and did what it said in the workshop manual but there's those who know better for instance it comes here it says zoom in come on focus up it doesn't want to focus this morning do not remove I don't understand what people don't understand about don't remove but they put that in this casting they've gone to a lot of trouble and there's a very good reason and there are circumstances now because of their age where this has to be removed but all it does is end up with more of them in the uh, landfill site you believe me the concern at this stage of course is uh, if I have indeed increased compression will I be able to pull it over easily I suppose any time will tell but it sounds good without a carb on without a plug-in
you want for water skiing?